Hello, I'm Jovan Johnson. All eyes will be on Gordon House tomorrow, where it's widely expected that Prime Minister Andrew Holness will announce the date of the next general elections. At a party meeting on Sunday, the JLP leader said he was ready to seek another term in office, and the party will campaign on the slogan, Recovering Stronger. And Mr. Holness on Monday criticized alleged PNP supporters for disrupting his campaign in Trelawney. Some persons clad in orange, the color of the PNP, heckled and obstructed the JLP leader's motorcade as it made its way through the historic town of Water Square in Falmouth. The time for antagonistic and confrontational politics is over. The Northern Caribbean University has condemned the killing of one of its professors, Dr. Gordon Lightburn, who taught in the Department of Biology, Chemistry and Environmental Science. The police found Mr. Lightburn's body on August 7 at his Christiana Manchester home. It had what appeared to be a gunshot wound to the back of the head. Overseas, the New York Times is reporting U.S. President Donald Trump is considering new immigration regulations that would block citizens and legal permanent residents from returning to the U.S. from abroad if authorities believe they may be infected with the coronavirus. In sports, football stakeholders are concerned that the start of the 2020-2021 Red Stripe Premier League and schoolboy football seasons could be further delayed due to COVID-19. Jamaica Football Federation Technical Committee Chairman Rudolph Speed says there will be no rush to start the new seasons. In your currency trading today, one US dollar was being sold for $149.07, the British pound sterling for $194.89, and the Canadian dollar for $112.26. In your weather forecast, Tuesday morning will be partly cloudy. In the afternoon, expect widely scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms across southern and northwestern parishes. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Joe Van Johnson.